Hello, my name is Matthew Gonier. And I'm Alan Sines. And we are here to teach you how to make a PB&J. Let's do it. So the first step is get all your materials. First, you're gonna need your peanut butter, your jelly, a knife, bread, and plate. Remember, this is the first step. The second step is to take out the bread. To do this, you have to grab the bread, take it out of the bag, then put it on the plate. Again, the second step is to take out the bread. The third step is spreading the peanut butter. There is no specific way of doing this. It all depends on preference of the amount of peanut butter you want. Again, this is the third step, spreading the peanut butter. The fourth step is the transition from the peanut butter to the jelly. There are two ways to do this. You can either get another knife or you can spread the remaining peanut butter on the other slice of bread. A reminder that the third step is the transition between peanut butter and the jelly. The next step is spreading the jelly. Just like spreading the peanut butter, there's no magic to doing this. Just a matter of preference. Again, this is the next step and this is how you spread the jelly. And the sixth step is how to clean up your workspace. One very important part of this step is to make sure that you get all the jelly off of the knife so you can enjoy every last drop. Remember, this step is how to clean up your workspace. All right, the last and final step is to enjoy it. It best. is best oh, yeah. to enjoy it with a glass of milk. <laughs> like BK says, have it your way. Thanks for joining us on our tutorial on how to make a PB&J.